G'day guys, it is Fate to bring you another PUBG Mobile TPP gameplay video to the channel. So right here we landed in Novo, just picked up a few guns real quick, and I heard shots that were from the squads that just landed here. So I can see a couple of people here, my first kill is a kill steal as well, so... They're probably pretty mad, the enemies. I knocked the other guys who pushed up with the M16, I, I stuffed up the burst time a little bit there. That one was a little bit better, got another knock. Uh, that guy that was pretty far out was actually pretty decent in his sprays. He had a few shots. And with my last bullet, ended up knocking the guy that pushed me. So I switched to a mutant, obviously, since I don't have ammo left in my M16. Go back into my spot behind these boxes and just wait for that guy uh, to peek. That was down there before shooting. So he didn't peek, so I just continued on looting. So a little bit later on, uh, I originally thought this guy was actually a bot, but he was like teleporting everywhere, so he's lagging, he was not, he's been lagging pretty badly right here. Ended up getting the knock, and I think that was a squad wipe actually, on the team I just killed before. So I can hear footsteps right in front, I'm pretty sure it's just a bot though. So I'm not too worried about it, but obviously I'm just going to go over there and get the free kill. So I go up on this ramp right here, and I look onto the other side and actually can spot someone. So I got a buyers in here. Uh, it actually wasn't that bad, considering I didn't even have like a any type of muzzle on it. So maybe I've got to give that more of a go, like a four times bison, just spraying people. That'd be pretty sick. So I spot someone in the window right in front there. I originally actually only thought this was one guy. Just because I was a bit confused who I'd killed at the start, so... I wasn't sure how many people were left of that squad. So I've got four nades right here. Usually at the start of games, I like just picking up as many nades as I possibly can. So, And then when I have full storage, I just drop a few and swap it with whatever ammo or whatever I need. So I'm just chucking it into his building. Unfortunately, none of these uh, at least got the kill. It might have hit him, but none of them did get the kill, obviously. But I can still hear him right in front. So I've got one more nade. I wasn't sure if he was going to push out the door right here. He decided not to, he just went up the compound. So if he didn't bolt out here, this would have definitely got him, but unfortunately he bolted out. Ended up dodging my grenade by a couple seconds, so lucky for him. So these guys are still thinking I'm near the compound. That's why this guy, uh, he's got his body out and I'm getting that knock. You can see his other teammates jumping behind right there. Get the thirst, or at least light him up enough that he's probably not going to get revived. Ah, uh, this guy is snaking. I'm not too sure, but I don't know how he didn't get killed. He must have been like 1 HP or something. It's kind of annoying, but yeah, you just got to deal with it. So they're chucking nades at me. I can hear him on the other side of this uh, compound. I'm just going to get the higher ground here. Since it's obviously a massive advantage in these fights, getting the higher ground, as you'll see in a couple seconds right here. So that guy goes prone, thinking that he's safe, and his whole body was just showing through the window and end up getting that easy knock. So I can hear the last guy, he's down at this little uh, shed right here, just waiting for him to run across and get to his teammate. So this is all just patience right here, I could probably push him, but... I don't want to risk it since obviously it's TPP, uh, the enemies have the advantage when they're the one third person beaking. So any second he's going to cross right here. And yeah, I didn't even hit a shot, just potatoed all my bullets. He probably he jumped in like the perfect spot, like it was covered by the compound. Switched to FPP, he was sitting at the top of the stairs, he wasn't that good. And ended up getting that kill for the wipe on that trio. So right here, I'm just driving around looking for people to kill, and I see a car up at the drop. So I'm not sure how many people is there, so I don't want to actually risk it since fighting a full squad in the open is not what you want to do. Uh, definitely makes things more challenging. So I go to the nearest compound, hoping that they're just going to follow me in, since they're probably like, oh, it's just a solo. We'll get the easy kill. And what do you know, it's a car full of people. 
and I somehow probably hit marked the only person with a level 3 helmet. So I was a bit unlucky right there, would have got a quick knock, but either way he's 1 HP so I'll be at an advantage in this fight. So I'll throw some nades over there, hoping to do a little bit of damage or even get a lucky nade kill. This guy pushes, he drop shots, I go behind cover, light him up a little bit more so he's probably like one shot right there. So he's got a heal obviously. Get the guy that was on the edge of the fence back there, not too sure what he was doing. Uh, he pushes out wide and his teammate is just behind that wall, just third person peeking. He gets me really low, I'm about like 10 HP right here. I uh, was going to full health but he was obviously thinking I'm on the other edge and ended up getting that fourth knock for the squad wipe with a scar against a pretty sweaty squad as well. So I'm just driving around once again and I see a buggy up at the apartments, crash into it and what do you know, they can hear footsteps right in front of me. So I can only hear one footstep so I'm just going to hard push it. Here he's directly above me, third person peek, you see him on the stairs, aim for the head and end up getting the knock. So a little bit further, I actually end up getting my car stuck there somehow. I'm known for being a bad driver and hop in that buggy and get lit up by someone with a UMP. So I spot him at the rock, aim at his head but apparently this game just does not want to give me headshots. Like that, that was definitely on the head. But either way, I know he's one shot since I hit him with the arm, or like at least low health anyway. Switch it while I'm in my buggy, just hit fire him down and end up getting the kill. So that's actually something I really want uh, them to prove. Just like PUBG PC where you can drive, like you can do drive-bys and stuff, but like your car doesn't slow down straight away. So you can actually kind of be moving while you're shooting like in a passenger without someone driving. Anyways, I push up at that compound and get shot at, so I go to this dip right here. It's actually a really nice dip, it's got cover from most sides. And I can hear a car behind me, so I'm not too sure if they know I'm here. I'm just going to prone behind car so I can have a bit of cover. I was going to shoot it originally, but there's no way I'm going to hit that shot. So I'm just waiting for that guy in the house to stand still. Aim for his head and get a body shot somehow. This game really hates me. <laughs> like usually the arm, it's not too bad with its headshot uh, hit markers, but apparently if you aim for the head, it's a body shot. So I'm gonna push on that since he's obviously healing. Pull out my nade. I was gonna cook it a little bit longer, but I could actually hear someone uh, running to my left, so I just chucked it in. Drop shot pre-fire. And I ended up getting that nade kill at this exact same time I knocked that guy. So that was a pretty clean duo wipe right there. And just go in here to heal. So a little bit forward, I can hear a car uh, pulled up on the other side of this fence. So I'm assuming he doesn't know I'm here yet. I just go prone behind here, got third person view. Just waiting for him to push up. can hear him walking forward. He's definitely very careful. He's like third person peeking behind the fence right here. And unfortunately, I only cut, hit him a couple times. So I switched to my nade straight away since I know that he's most likely gonna throw a nade. And I, as soon as I threw that nade, I could hear his pin, but it was a little bit too late. So right here, I'm actually hurt his, yeah, since he threw a nade, I'm just gonna go back into cover. So I don't wanna get naded by a dead person, which has happened before, and it's pretty sad when it does happen. So I'm driving away from that compound, getting to zone, and I can see a car that stopped at the drop. So right here, what I should have done, I should have just already pre-aimed at the driver's seat, but aimed a little bit too late, and he was moving, which dropped on aim. I spray him down with the grozer, hit, hit like one shot, which was a headshot, so I did a little bit of damage. And now I'm on a car pursuit right now. So I switched my six time Grozer, see if I can get a lucky kill right here. Fortunately, only just damaged a car and didn't end up damaging the driver. So I'm just chasing him down. He's driving up here, waiting for him to stop. And for whatever reason, he stopped right here and he didn't even hop out of the car, he just 
stayed in the car and just took all the bullets and ended up getting the kill. So there was actually nades on the other side, so definitely uh, wary that another team could be on the other side of this little hill. So I spotted a guy at the rock. I uh, just narrowly gave him a haircut. Unfortunately, didn't end up getting the kill right there. I was actually kind of expecting that to hit, to be honest. So I was a little bit disappointed. But I can hear two teams fighting over there, so I'm going to third party. I drive up with my car and get behind this little ridge right here. So I've got a little bit of cover in front. And since I already damaged from that previous fight with a couple bullets and a groza, I ended up knocking those two people. And if I actually saw one of the knocked guys right in front of me, probably could have got another kill right here. But either way, we'll take it. So knowing that those nades uh, came from behind that hill before, that's what I assume the rest of the enemies are. Not too sure. It could be a full squad or it could just be like a trio duo. So I'm definitely wary of it being a full squad. So as I pull up, I get lit up by at least two people prone behind the car for cover and end up knocking that first guy with the Groza. So I'm going to chuck a few nades from where I heard the shots previously. They're throwing mollies at me. Fortunately none of those nades ended up hitting. One of the guys pushes up and since I got a Groza you're just not going to outgun it unless you have maybe an MK. So they're chucking all their nades at me. Fortunately for me, none of them ended up getting in this little shack, which would have been pretty bad if that happened. Here, one of them at the tree. Uh, he's next to the guy that I just knocked before, so he's obviously going to try and get a revive. Uh, I really thought this nade was going to get him, but turns out it's a pretty trashy nade. So I'm just going to push up. One of the guys actually got revived, but it was already 1 HP, since obviously when you get revived, you 1 HP and ended up knocking the third guy for that trio wipe. So there's just one guy left. Not 100% sure where he's gonna be hiding. Uh, I was actually originally thinking that sniper tower, but it was out of zone, so. I did think he'd probably have got it in by now. So I'm just gonna heal up fully right here and boost up fully as well. So I can get to full health as fast as I can and also it actually makes you run around faster. When you're full uh, boosted. So I'm chucking some smokes out there where I think he might be. Just aimed in the sniper tower. Didn't see anyone there. Just running around looking for snakes and what do you know, he's just chilling in the grass right there. Ended up just flicking to his head pretty easy and end up getting that knock for the kill and the win. So that was a pretty nice 24 kill gameplay. Uh, I am in Ace in North America. And before I get the comments saying like play Asia or whatever, I have been to Ace in Asia. I actually solo scored it just landing boot camp once as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, let's see if we can hit 1,600 likes. That'd be pretty good. And if you're new to the channel and do obviously enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, part of me is like, who is this? The other half, that's who I miss Always worry, always stress Feeling heavy in the chest I know I talk about it way too much But talking about it, man, that's my crutch These days, things I crave It ain't money, it's better days Been flying, seems like way too long Anxiety been way too strong It comes, goes, it hits hard But damn, I've made it this far So why quit?